method of mathematical induction to prove that when n is a positive integer, then 7 raised to the power of 2n plus 1, then plus 1 is an integer multiple of 8. So in mathematical induction, I told you that you have to go through two steps. You have to show that n is equal to 1 is true. Then you show that you assume that n is equal to k is true. If n is equal to k is true, then n is equal to k plus 1 is also true. So the first thing is that you have to show or prove, show that n is equal to 1 is true. So here, this is n plus 1 plus 1. So whenever we say n, we are going to put 1 here. So we have 7 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1, n plus 1. This is equal to 7 raised to the power of 3, 2 multiplied by 1, 2 plus 1, 3, then plus 1, which is equal to 3, 1 and 43. That is 7 raised to the power of 3 is 343 plus 1 is equal to 344, which is a multiple of 8. Multiple of 8. So, second step, assume that n is equal to k is true. So that means wherever you see hand, you're going to put k. So 7 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by k plus 1 and plus 1. Now, this one, we we'll want to assume that it is true. Now, I now want us to equate this one to be equal to 8 multiplied by m. That is, this 8 multiplied by m, if m is an integer, it makes it m to be multiple of 8. So just say where m is any integer. Any integer. So you can test it at home. If you take any number, you multiply it by 8, it's going to become a multiple of 8. So from here, we now say that 7 raised to the power of 2k plus 1 is equal to 8m minus 1. So, call this one equation 1. Now, we have assume that n is equal to k is true, then it means that n is equal to k plus 1 is true. That is its successor. Now, let's show that n is equal to k plus 1 is true. So, it means that wherever we see n, we are going to put k plus 1. So, we have 7 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by k plus 1, then plus 1, then plus big 1. So from here, we have 7 raised to the power of 2k plus 2, then plus 1, everything plus 1. So this will be 7 raised to the power of 2, then multiply by 7 raised to the power of 2, K, then plus 1. According to law of indices, if you remember, if we have a raised to the power m multiplied by a raised to the power n, we are going to have a raised to the power of m plus n. That is when you have the same base. Now, plus 1. So here, recall that 7 raised to the power of 2k plus 1 is equal to 8m minus 1, which is equation 1. So substituting equation 1, so let's call this one equation 2. Substituting equation 1 into equation 2 gives, it gives the following. So we have a uh, 8, this one gives 49, 7 raised to the power 2 gives 49, then multiply by 8, m minus 1, then plus 1. So we have, this one is equal to, what's equal to, then 49 multiplied by 8, m, 
then minus 49 m plus 1, which is equal to 8m multiplied by 49, then minus 48. So here we can factorize 8 out, then we have 8 into bracket 49m minus 6. So if you like, you can leave it like this. What you want to derive here is that if 8 multiply any integer, it makes that integer a multiple of 8. So here we can now say let P or any alphabet to be equal to 49M minus 6. So we want P to be another integer. So but if you like, you can leave it like this. If you leave it like this, you are okay. And I just want to go further where P is another any integer. Then we now have seven, where I'm coming from, seven is power two, K plus one, plus one, plus one is equal to eight P. So if it's this, this one, it shows that this seven raised power two n plus one, n plus one is a multiple of eight. So that's how to go about any question like this. So in the next class, I will show you another example on how to prove that any integer is a multiple or divisible by another number. Till I see you in the next class. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.